Hi, it's Abel975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One and this is the beta for fleet carriers or beta depending on how you want to pronounce it or where you're from. Now I had a look, I haven't played it very much, um, I haven't had the time this week what with uh, animal rescue, chicken house building and all the rest of it and uh, I haven't really been able to get it downloaded and get on there for an extended period of time. I had a look, I brought a fleet carrier, I parked it up, I had a look at the services, had a look at the cost of things, had a look at a few other things, uh, found that when I dropped to the station they've slightly changed the HUD UI and how you access repair and that. Mm, not sure if I like that or not, but it's, I prefer graphical interfaces over just text. It's a nicer touch. Uh, I wish they'd update some of the... Uh, systems within the fleet carriers certainly the way you transfer money over credits over could be a lot smoother and easier but you know i'm sure this is stuff they're already looking at eyeing it out from the feedback they got from pc it is nice that we got a beta for xbox it's the first one we've ever had so that's something new and interesting going forward it's nice to be included even if we were kind of a like second tier afterthought and uh you know from terms of content creation, obviously the PC players have all got in there. Everyone knows what these things look like. Everyone knows what's going on with them. So I don't feel like I'm going to put out an amazing amount of content sort of saying anything more than what I'm putting out in this video. Uh, everyone's putting their two pennies worth about fleet carriers. I'm of the opinion I still don't quite see where the gameplay is with this thing. Uh, you know. And I don't see how I'm going to make much money from one. Uh, but I probably am going to end up leasing one. I'm not going to call it buying when I have to pay upkeep. Uh, if I continually pay for something, I haven't brought it. Uh, yeah, That's the way I feel about it. So I will lease one of these things, pay the upkeep, and see if I can make use of it. Uh, I think the Dark Marauders are going to have two or three. So be interesting to see what roles we allocate. I'm tempted to use mine as a uh, floating black market and uh, you know legal facilities that we can park up near places of interest uh, as a you know a repair station a black market and legal recourse to uh, you know help with those commanders that might happen to be notorious and unable to land at normal stations uh, that could be a use for it, or I may turn mine into a mining camp. I have not decided yet. It's going to really depend on what happens after and when fleet carriers come out and what other people use their fleet carriers for. Uh, there's the new interface, the repair and thing. I do prefer graphical interfaces. I'm very happy with some of the graphical interfaces they put in the game, uh, so that's cool. I'm always liking things like that. Uh, but yeah, I had to play around in the beta, 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 beta sounds so weird but um i had to play around and i really did uh find that there was a lot of these things out and about and i think that's going to be the biggest thing coming out of this is how many of these things are going to be clogging up the uh the local systems anyway that's all for this video thank you very much for watching let's all go forth into a brave new dawn of fleet carriers